Welcome to Fordham University's Introduction to the Irish Tin Whistle Intermediate Series. My name is Ryan Duns, a Jesuit teaching at Fordham University. In today's lesson, I'd like to cover a very basic tune, one we actually did um, last semester in the, in the very basic introduction course, a tune called The Boys of Blue Hill. If you've been to an Irish dancing competition, you've certainly heard this tune, tune a thousand times over. And if you're even a, a semi beginner in Irish music, it's hard not to come across this at this hornpipe as it is one that is often taught to beginners. I'm going to play it one time through, pretty basic. Remember, I'm assuming at this point that you're intermediate level, that you've already um, the skill to pick up tunes on your own. So I'm going to play it one time through and leave it to you, to you and your discretion to, to get up to speed on the tune. Um, and what follows after will be a little bit of the play of the tune, a little bit on variation. So here we go. Uh, the Boys of Blue Hill, very common hornpipe. It's hard to play the tune, even at a slow, more basic level, without kind of introducing a couple of my own variations or ornaments uh, as I play it. So forgive me if, uh, if some things throw you off from the sheet music. So let's break it down. In the first part, the, the thing to realize is hornpipes are lovely tunes and there's an awful lot of music packed inside of them. But we've got to kind of break it out because the temptation is to play it in a very wooden way. Dum dee dee da da dee dum dum dee dee la pa dee dum. Let the inner rhythm of the music spring out, not only animating yourself and giving you joy in playing, but also whoever's Irish dancing for you. Irish music is dancing music. Imagine someone having to dance to you. Wooden playing doesn't inspire anyone. Good, lively, um, rhythmic playing does. So let's look at the first part. Um, I'll just play a few measures. You'll note that there's a sing-song quality. There's a beauty inside this internal rhythm. Uh, the notes point back to a much deeper level of music. Remember, don't stop at the notes. Let the music's the notes guide you deep into the music itself, where you surrender yourself to the greater tradition, to the greater rhythm, and you find yourself inspired by it. I added two major variations in the tune. First off, I changed a, a, a progression of notes. F A E A D A. It's just a substitution. It's a variation. I think I heard it from Vindy Kildoff many years ago. But it's a lovely one that changes up the, the texture of the tune without distorting or making the tune at all deranged. Um, let me go to the second part where we'll talk more about the ending that I flubbed a little bit earlier. So the second part.
So the ending. D A F E D. I just kind of grafted on there because it's a nice way to end the tune. You can end any of the parts that way, in fact. Um, another big point in this second part is there's so much life that we're literally in our slides almost sliding up and falling on top. So it kind of, there's a little arc in it. You hear that? You have to forgive my singing voice because I don't sing. But there's something about the way you can play this tune that takes a very, very commonly heard piece of music. It makes it something uncommon. It makes it something extraordinary. And it's extraordinary because it's you. It's your expressing of yourself through another medium. In this case, through music, particularly a hornpipe. One time through the first part, one time through the second part, just so you get a flavor of what you could possibly want to do. Again, what we're trying to do is show you different ways to claim your voice within the Irish tradition. The overarching story behind it is that you have something to say through the music. Give yourself the opportunity. Fall into more deeply into the music itself. Go beyond the notes. Get into the very the essence of the tune and allow that to become the way you express yourself. <laughs>